What's good? This is Scotty by Nature TV, and you are now tuned in to TTB Entertainment. We blog. We gossip. We share porn. We are media. We are thirst trap boys. Welcome to the TTB Newsroom. Child, there is currently an online war between TTB and the real hot boys of Houston creator Todd. And a lot has transpired within the last 24 hours. But before I dive into all of that, let me give you all the backstory behind this extremely petty ass situation. Because I can admit that the situation is indeed petty on both ends. However, for me, it comes down to the principle of the matter. So on September 13th, 2021, Todd went live on the Real Hot Boys of Houston's YouTube channel to address his situation with YouTuber YB Entertainment TV. He wanted to respond to the five-hour dragging he received from YB just days prior. Now, keep in mind, I ended up being in that five-hour live, and I tried to get the two of them to come together and fix the situation. Now, little did I know, just days later, I myself would also have an issue with Todd. So... During Todd's live, he kind of rubbed me the wrong way when he was talking about the whole James Camper and official rock situation. He was like, why are y'all dragging that situation out? Why is it so important? Now, little did Todd fucking know that once the panel did an interview with James, aka Tim is King 12, we over here at TTB honestly didn't give a fuck about the story going forward, okay? That was until the EP of The Real Hot Boys of Hollywood hit us up asking if he could use footage from the interview in which we said yes. Plus, he also ended up reaching out to Mason, which was the guy we had come through at the end of the interview who claimed that Jason allegedly gave his friend syphilis. So we realized, holy shit, the Hollywood franchise is about to use this situation as one of their storylines for their season one premiere. Okay, that's fucking dope. So our marketing cap went off, okay? Our marketing light bulb went off. And we were like, you know what? Let's dive into this James situation a little more just to give their storyline some more legs to stand on. So after we did the interview with James, that is the only fucking reason we ended up doing two more videos about the situation. Because Malcolm hit us up. But apparently, Malcolm didn't let Todd know about that. But you know what? I let Todd's slick-ass comment go. I just brushed it the fuck off. Anywho, while Todd was alive and he was discussing his ongoing issues with YB Entertainment TV, TTB received an Instagram tag from Official Rock. Now, the post was a video of gay icon MC Deborah basically saying she was leaving, she was out this bitch. And he had the Real Hot Boys of Hollywood's name on the post. Now, even though we knew this meant he was leaving the show, we did not want to assume he was leaving the show. So we sent Rock a message asking him what the fuck he was talking about, even though we already knew what the fuck he was talking about. And Rock confirmed that he was quitting the show, and then he explained why. And from there, we asked him if we could use what he told us as a statement in the article that would be written. Rock said yes. Now, immediately after that, I went back on Todd's live because Todd was still live going off about the YB situation. And I told Todd in the live chat that Rock just left the show 
and an article about the situation is being worked on right the fuck now. I told him this. I went directly to Todd once I got this information. I did not want Todd to be blindsided by the article. I let him know ASAP Rocky. Now, the next day when the article was posted, Todd apparently caught a fucking case of severe, and I do mean severe, amnesia because he decided to leave a comment saying fake news, which pissed me all the way off because we at TTB take serious, serious pride in always delivering truthful stories. You see, we always get our tea directly from the source. Always. There is no fake news over here. So Todd saying fake news shitted all over our credibility. And I was not fucking having it. So me and Todd ended up speaking in the DMs. And he told me that I should have hit him up for his side of the story. Even though I fucking told him this 24 hours prior to the fucking article being posted. Like, sis, make it make sense, bitch. I already hit you the fuck up about it. As soon as I got the fucking scoop, I hit you up immediately, my nigga. Okay. After I hit you up and let you know what was going down, it then becomes your fucking responsibility to respond to what the fuck I told you. I did my part, period. But nonetheless, he tells me it's fake news and he just continues with this fake news narrative. And now I am further getting upset because fake news to me means fabricated. It means the article is a lie, is a lie which the article is not fabricated, okay? Rock did, in fact, tell us he was quitting the show. We literally got the tea from the horse's mouth. So I flat out told Todd, if he continued on this fake news route, it's going to be a fucking problem. He responded with, okay. So I'm thinking, great, we can all just move forward and whelp a bitch was wrong, okay? Because literally 15 to 20 minutes later, TTB was sent a DM from someone who I'm not going to name because he's cool with Todd and I don't want to throw him under the bus. But anywho, this guy forwarded us a story from the Real Hot Boys of Houston's IG account and the story said in bold fucking capital letters, fake news. Now, I just fucking told this guy. If he continued talking crazy and running with this whole fake news narrative, we would have a fucking problem. I was livid, okay? I was livid. It was and is the disrespect for me. For some reason, some of these web reality creators like to shit on reviewers and blogs. They think they are all high and mighty because they created a free YouTube show where they aren't paying any of their cast members. And quite frankly, Todd needed to be fucking humbled, okay? So that is when I decided to post videos of my lifestyle in which Todd could never compare to, okay? Plus... I released a screenshot from TTB's September revenue from one source of income. Keep in mind, TTB brings in money three different ways, and I only showed him one source of revenue. I don't know if he thought TTB was like him out here in these online streets for free, 
but he clearly bumped his fucking head. I cannot speak on any other bloggers out there, but TTB will always secure the bag. Okay? So Todd responded to my post by throwing shade. Now, this is where he tried it, okay? He decided to hit below the belt and attack my physical appearance. Girl! <laughs> Bitch! Now that's when the gloves came off, okay? I told him he had 72 hours to write a public apology. And no, folks, not about him attacking my looks, okay? Because let me tell you, your boy over here, I am extremely secure with how I look, okay? I thank the Lord every motherfucking day for giving me my face. I really do. I do not have an insecure body in my bone, okay? No shade, but I don't. I want a public apology regarding the fake news statement in 72 hours or TTB will purchase his brand and gift it to YB Entertainment TV as a present for all of his fucking troubles. Todd saw the message and I don't know, he didn't respond it. So he clearly thought that TTB was bluffing. So, okay, you, you think we playing games over here? You think it's a game? You think it's a joke? So, we purchased his website name. Yes, folks, TTB now owns the Real Hot Boys of Houston.com. You see, folks, that's the problem with a lot of content creators. They never buy their online land, which is the domain name. You see... They always build the house first. Todd built a underdeveloped house on online land he did not own. Now, TTB owns it. And in 48 hours from now, TTB will be filing paperwork to own his whole fucking brand unless... Unless he gets off of his invisible high horse to issue us a public fucking apology for saying fake news. Now, do we want to do this? No, folks. We really don't. Because honestly, I'm just being honest. The brand has no value to it. I mean, seriously, they have 13 Twitter followers, 12 likes on Facebook, and under 100,000 YouTube views in a year. In a year, folks, okay? A whole fucking year, okay? It's not a valuable brand to own at all. It's not bringing in any revenue. It's a flop of a brand. But it comes down to the principle of the matter. So if Todd values his brand, all he has to do is send us an apology. It's simple. All he has to say is, listen, I'm sorry for calling y'all fake news. You know, I was in my feelings, blah, blah, blah. And this whole situation will go away. But unfortunately, he appears to have a huge ego. So I don't know if this will happen. And, you know... It's so unfortunate because once we filed the paperwork, it's a fucking wrap and he's going to have to change his brand's name. And if he doesn't change the name, he will be taken to court. So hopefully Todd does the right thing for his cast members because we are not fucking around over here. Also, to make matters worse, so you guys, my brother... Aaron Wilds Out TV will no longer be featured on TTB due to creative differences, okay? The last appearance Aaron will make will be this Tuesday during the panel's interview with Signal 23 TV CEO Henderson Maddox. It's only about creative differences, nothing else. Tell me why Aaron went live on his Instagram account and Todd's messy ass told Aaron that he doesn't like me and he only watches the panel for Aaron and Bubs. Now, that's fine. I don't care. We all have our favorites. Great. But this moron really thought in his fucking mind 
that my brother was going to bash me and that my brother wasn't going to tell me this information. Like, are you stupid? Are you dumb? Are you dense? TTB and Aaron are just fine. We will always be fine. We have a brotherhood. It's just creatively right now, we are on two different waves. That is all. Aaron could return to TTB in two weeks from now, okay? He's always good over here. There is no smoke between us. You see, Todd is so focused on what the fuck is going on over here at TTB when he should have been securing his fucking brand. Getting those 13 followers up, getting his paperwork in order. I really, really genuinely wanted to like Todd. I really did. I really tried. I wanted YB's Entertainment TV's five-hour rant about Todd to be wrong. I really, really did, you know? But YB was absolutely right. Todd is highly unprofessional and he has no clue what the fuck he is doing. And he picked the right bitch on the wrong fucking day to go after. I don't play checkers, bitch. I play chess. I am not new to this shit, my nigga. I am true to this shit, okay? I will put the whole brand on pause. You have 48 hours left for the apology. Now, Todd, I am a simple man. So all you have to do is say sorry, own up to your shit, put your pride aside, and let's move the fuck on. That's all you gotta do, playboy. The ball is in your court. Okay? And well, folks, that is the latest TTB breaking news.